What is up, my fellow Interwebians? I am Logan, the Totally Up Gamer, and I am in Winterhold. Let me show you where that is. Winterhold is one of the main places in the game, and I'm going to show you where to get the Coral Claw. I will also be showing you where to put the Coral Claw. She mentions a place, but she does not put it on your map. I'm just going to find this chick. Where is she? Let's local map this. Her name is Bernia. Uh, there we are. Oh, I'm right over top of it. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so, this chick... Oh, do not want to break in there. Let's wait a little bit. Wait about five hours. Um, so you come here and Berna has a bunch of problems. Now, this is one of the few times where listening to her problems, you know, gives you something, alright? Um, you will go in. Uh, sometimes she's outside, sometimes she's inside. It's all up to you. Um, you will I talk to her. I do what's she will ask you, buy. don't say, well, why, what have you got for sale? Ask, why set up shop here and then, do you get much business way up here? Da -da 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 -da. She'll go through the stuff, say she bought a claw and made bad business over it. What you're gonna say is, Hey, I'll take the claw off you for 50 gold. Now, once you get the claw, she mentions a place, but she does not put it on your map where it is. She doesn't even care for it at all. So what you want to do is, you've probably come across a few claws already. You want to go to the claw's destination. Now, the claw's destination, I haven't found yet, but I know where it is. Um, where do we need to do? Alright, so this is Windhelm. It's about in this-ish area. Um, I'm going to go find it for you guys, and I will show you guys soon. So this is where it is. It is Yingle Barrow. Uh, it is northeast, a little bit of Windhelm. And uh, let me just run through it, show you guys how it works here. Do -do 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 Here's the entrance. You walk in. Uh, this is one of the easier places I've gone through. Um, it was a pretty easy dungeon, and the only actual item you get out of it is... Uh, I'm wearing it right now. It's very good. Very good. It is the... Du, 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 du. Helm of Yingle. Highest heavy armor helmet I've found so far. It looks amazing. And it has a sweet, sweet bonus on it. Uh, frost resistance 30%, especially against any type of frost dragon. Mm, the best. The best. So it's pretty easy. Um, at the very beginning, you're just going to walk through everywhere. Um, the little uh, traps are pretty difficult, actually. These just don't stop. They go on forever. If you fail it once, they just keep going and going. So the code is snake, um, snake, bird, and then dolphin. If you just see in that order, snake, bird, dolphin. It's actually an eagle, but yeah. So snake, dolphin, eel. Or whoa, snake, dolphin, eel. What the hell? Snake, eagle, dolphin. And um, you're just gonna keep walking through. It, there's you know not too much to this place. Uh, as you see, it was actually, there's not very many creatures at all. It's pretty bare until you get to the very end, and then you have to fight Yingol himself and pick up his helmet. It's not actually Yingol, it's a shade of Yingol. Pretty easy fight, though. I didn't have very much trouble with it. I just used, um, uh, Unrelenting Flame for it. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. And I think it's this way. Yep. And da -da -da -da, I'm just waiting for the next part that we get to. Oh, I seem not to have done this. There we go. Pretty easy open. Oh, not bad chest loot either. Steel grates, I don't need that. And there's also some boots at the front here, just regular leather boots. Um, yeah, that's pretty pretty weak opening right there. There's, that's not a great chest. You get there's a um, dwarven great sword here and some snowberries. Uh, and by some, I mean like ten snowberries right there. So that's pretty good. That hasn't got me yet, but it was scared the hell out of me the first time I did it, and <laughs> scared the hell out of me that time, too. Um, so here is the room that usually takes forever. Um, I figured out how this works. Uh, if you just go to the... St where is it? The Coral Dragon Claw. If you look at the things, it is kind of like a butterfly, and then something, and then something. Uh, I know the actual combination, and I'll show you guys that just in one second. So the combination may be hard to see, but it is butterfly, wolf, and then snake. Um, it's just right on the claw itself. And then you just come in here, you pick up some sweet treasure loot, and I think I left some stuff in here. Maybe I'll show you. Uh, no, I didn't leave anything. So yeah, there's just a chest here. It has some decent stuff in it, and then you fight the shade of Yingol. Maybe I can find his corpse somewhere around here too. No, I can't find it that either. Um, so yeah, it's pretty easy. Then you get the helm of Yingol, and then you just come up here, and it just drops you off at a different place. Uh, like all, like a completely different place. Uh, I guess, well, I guess it's not that completely different. But you come up here, you open up to Skyrim. That's a pretty sweet blade right there. And then you see this. Wow, sweet. 
Aurora Borealis, what? <laughs> I've never seen that before. Um, but it doesn't matter. Uh, all that you see when you come out is that you are some totally different area, pretty far away from your original point, and that you find, you know, there's a wreck of the Winter War over there. Just some bandits and a bandit chief, and pretty easy. Hope you guys like this video. Um, it, it was a fun claw to find and a fun claw to do. And the final item at the end, totally worth it. So I, I would advise you guys do this claw quest and uh, get her done. That's all. Peace out, guys.